Skeeter, you be nice now. She, he's just a baby, you be Hi, nice. Folks. Nathan from KBL Texas Homestead and want to welcome you back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in today. I uh, hope you liked the little video I'm going to shoot for you. But today we're just going to go out, feed the cattle. I'm going to bring you along, drop some uh, cattle cubes down for these cattle, and uh, I'll introduce some of them to you, let you know what they're about and what our plans are for them. So let's go. This longhorn here is Dolly. This is our Dolly. <clears throat> so Bo back there is just over a couple weeks old and he'll be the feature of some of our future videos watching him grow up only the strong survive here on the homestead and the goat has proven to be resilient he is 1 16th their body weight gets pummeled but poor Otis keeps coming back for more he don't give up donkey this here's Jack say hi Jack this here's nosy Lucky come on Lucky it's your turn you wanted to look a minute ago Come here, Lucky. There's good old Lucky. How you doing, Donkey? Donkey here. It's all muddy, but he likes his hiney rubbed. You scratch his honey for a little bit and you become best friends with him. Here's Donkey and Henny. I picked up as a pair. They were living together. But the owner couldn't take care of them anymore. So we acquired these two lifelong buddies. They're both about 10 years old. Neither one of them can reproduce. So they're just living out their life here on the homestead. And helping us protect from the predators. Donkey does not care for dogs at all. Or any four-legged little creature running around. He's always keeping an eye out for the dogs. But... Peter's getting acquainted, acquainted with the longhorns. Let's see how this works out. Bobo. It's 
Skeeter, you be nice now. She, he's just a baby, you be nice. It's good that they get acquainted because Bobo needs to know that Skeeter might be taking care of him for a while. Helping him out. Protecting him from the beastly predators we have out here. So here's little Bobo. Hey Bo. We're hoping he's going to have a set of horns. If he grows some horns, we're looking at keeping him. If he doesn't grow horns, he'll either be up for adoption, relocating, we'll sell him, or if we feed him out, we could send him to butcher. But Bobo, we're hoping Bobo has horns. We might keep him around on the homestead just to have an extra set of horns as we look to uh, build our longhorn herd but nonetheless my plans with her is she's got some decent horn length and the base of her horns the diameter or the circumference around the horn base is significant pretty good I like it and uh, we'll plan on finding an AI and having her artificially inseminated with a registered longhorn bull semen so we can lengthen and massify those horns for her babies but they are going to town they've been waiting for feed all day it seems like they're liking it for sure so they have dwindled down their hay and we've got quite a bit of standing water right now in some areas because of the heavy rains we've had over the last week and they don't have a whole lot of green to eat so they are loving this snack Dolly, look at Dolly, look at old beautiful Texas Dolly, she's going to be a good part of our herd, ain't that right Dolly? Ain't that right Dolly, she's going to be a good part of this herd. Hey honey, what you doing honey? This is our pregnant girl honey here. She is about six months pregnant. She's got a belly on her. You can see from her side profile, look how much that belly sticks out. She is very prego. Alright folks, I hope you enjoyed that little video and seeing the cattle and There'll be some more videos uh, to come of the cattle. Uh, we got our honey, honey girl. She's due. Hopefully we can catch uh, some of that birth on camera. I'd love to bring that to y'all, but uh, we're going to set up some cameras and try to capture that. But, um, you know, it's Mother Nature. We may, we may not. We'll just have to see. But thank you for watching the video, and just remember, till next time.